you know, as we uh, look at the calendar and realize, you know, a month from tonight, uh, we'll be playing at uh, University of Arkansas, tipping the season off. Um, you know, we're all anxious to, uh, to you know, get the game started, you know, preseason. You know, we're right in the middle of it now, about 10 practices in. And uh, our guys are doing a great job. Uh, you know, it's, it's good to have returners uh, that know what you're doing, that know the, the language and the terminology that we want to speak. Uh, and use and, and to have a have them contribute to, to the culture and helping the young guys understand what it takes uh, to be successful and so going into this year is a little different than the previous two and the amount of returners that we have um, but the excitement's always the same you know we can't wait to get started and we can't wait to start playing games and and I know that'll be around the corner here pretty quick. Coach what are your thoughts on the non-conference schedule? <laughs> that is very difficult um, but but that makes it fun you know, because we're in our league, we're going to have to go play a lot of very, very good teams in, in tough places. And, uh, you know, obviously, too, you know, we get Houston and Penn here at home, which is a good thing, too, because I always think we, uh, you know, play better at home and, and have a better chance here. But to go to Santa Barbara, who I think is going to be picked to win or top two in their league, and go to Lamar, who's going to be picked very, very high in their league, uh, to maybe possibly playing Liberty, an NCAA tournament team in that Bahamas tournament, uh, you know, we'll probably pick to win their league. Um, you know, it's a very, very challenging slate. And obviously, like I already mentioned, playing Arkansas. But, uh, you know, we had a tough schedule last year. Uh, it made us better, made us tougher for the league. Um, but again, you know, as we grow this program, uh, we want to go into these games now expecting to win these games, not just, you know, be happy to play more to compete. From a, uh, from a culture perspective, from a stability perspective perhaps can you talk a little bit more about having returning guys and then just building in the third game? yeah I mean it's just so different you know for the first time in, in my three years to have you know Robert Aiko Tim Josh um, and then even the four sophomores after a year of playing so as many minutes as they did um, back this year just makes practices go so much better you know I think we can be so much more efficient in what we get done uh, just based on guys knowing what to expect transitioning to drills quickly um, and just kind of, you know, helping with the cohesiveness and of everything that we do. It's always tough early, but young guys that you expect from, I know it's always growing pains, but talk about the young guys. No, they've been great. I mean, Quincy, Zach, and Max have just been tremendous. They are, they're so coachable. Uh, they come every day with open eyes and open ears. Uh, they want to learn. They work very hard. Uh, they're, and they're talented young guys. Um, it's obviously a little different than last year. You know, those five were kind of, you know, being thrown to the fire no matter what happened. Uh, whereas this year, these guys kind of have to earn those those minutes, and that's what it's all about. And, and that's what what building a program is about. Um, you want guys coming in having to fight uh, for what they what they uh, want to get on the, in terms of playing time, and also you want more competition in practice, and, and that's what we have, and, and that's made it, uh, you know, been a difference, you know, for the first two years. Do you have in your mind a starting five right now? You know, I, I don't. Um, you know, we're working towards that. There's a few guys I think that, you know, I could say if we play tomorrow would start, but I couldn't name five of them right now. And I think that's a good thing. Um, I think that's a real good thing because it keeps um, – it shows our balance. Um, and this also could be a little different this year as well. There may not be a set starting five every night. I mean, I think we have seven, eight, nine guys that, that could maybe be a starter and on different nights contribute – you know, as a leading scorer. And so balance is going to be important. Um, guys stepping up and finding a, a consistent group of guys also is always important as well. But I can see this going uh, a way where we have different lineups and, and different opportunities. From the first practice to now, are you seeing improvement just in this short amount of time? Without question. Um, I think the four sophomores have, are really showing growth and improvement. The three freshmen, obviously, the more things slow down for them, uh, mentally, you see their improvement, um, but you're always going to have ups and downs when you have, you know, 28 practices and, and, and two, two exhibition or scrimmages before the season. So, you know, we've had some peaks and valleys. We're working towards being more consistent. That's going to be a huge key. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've improved and, and hopefully we'll continue to improve. You talk about working on consistency. How do you do that? I mean, what does that look like come uh, November, December? Well, n number one effort, um, consistent effort, uh, sustained through a longer practice. You know, in the fall is one thing. Our hours are limited. You usually don't go more than an hour a day if you're going to do it over four days, right? And the next thing you know, on whatever, September 25th or whatever, you can go for, 
you know, two and a half hours. And so now you've got to build their conditioning, conditioning up not only physically, but mentally to sustain effort, to fight fatigue, to deal with adversity. So you, we try to do that on a gradual plan so that come Tuesday, November 5th, we're at our peak, you know, emotionally uh, and mentally to play a game. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I mean, it seems like this team last year, in terms of, I guess, like versus three years ago, did a really good job of going to deep water and actually emerging on top. Whether it be that, whether it be the way that you guys locked down defensively late in games sometimes, what what maybe are you most excited about in terms of building on what they did well last year? Uh, you know, I think you make a great point, and that's the key is kind of building on how we ended last year. And the other big part of it is too. We always want to be a better team in March than we are in November. We, we practice and we, we prepare and we long-term plan to hopefully have that occur. Um, so that as we continue to build this program and get through the years, uh, we'll be a team hopefully be fighting for postseason verse here in the years to come. And so we want to build on how we ended last year by focusing on why those things happened. And, and so... Young guys now understand maybe more why they happened in game 28, 29, 30, 31 than they did games one, two, and three, you know, going to BYU and, and going to Houston and going to Penn and, and having some rough outings and Wichita State, you know. And so it's just a matter of growth. It's a matter of maturity. It's a matter of getting them to understand why things happen. And then, you know, the other thing is now getting off to a good start this year to try and build some momentum as you try and, you know, build the program. What would you say is the strength of this year's team? Maybe front court, back court, depth? I think depth and balance. I really do. I'd be anxious to see it after we play these 31 or 32 games, how many nights we had different leading scores. It could be a, it could be a bunch. What, um, what are the team's goals, maybe your, your personal expectations for this year? You know, I, I think probably I say the same thing every year, but I, I don't change in terms of that. You know, I want to make sure we're improving. I want to make sure week to week we're improving, month to month we're improving, and from the beginning of the season to the end of the season we're improving. Because as we continue to add talent and depth to this program, if you do those things, that will equate to more wins. And if you just focus on a number of wins or a certain place in the league, I think you're kind of you know, p- pigeonholing yourself into something that maybe if it's not reached that you think you had an unsuccessful season, which may not, which may not be the case. And so we just want to focus on getting better. Um, and, I, and I determine that basically, and the staff does, based on looking at practice, practice statistics and then obviously performance in games and in some ways results, just depending on what the results look like. You know, are you losing every game by 30? <laughs> or, or, are you, or are you battling all the way to the end and now how do you get a little better to get over the, get over the hump? Aiko and Rob, though, team leaders, being the seniors. Yeah, those guys have played, you know, uh, a lot of minutes and a lot of games. Um, and we count on, you know, we count on this year for different reasons. You, you know, obviously production being one of them, but leadership being another. And so that's something they are really trying to embrace, um, especially, you know, the four sophomores out can help them with that now because, you know, they've been here playing as much as they did last year to help the three freshmen and, and kind of keep this thing, you know, turning over and rolling. So, so expectations and, and what we want every year, people kind of know as they get into it. Anything else? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys.